Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some new concept art from The Rise of Skywalker that really shows they are missing a lot of opportunities. That's today here on Star Wars Coffee. Greetings, Exalted Ones. Welcome to Star Wars Coffee, the only place on the internet that you need to stay up to date with all things Star Wars. We're talking the latest Star Wars news, leaks, and of course, as always, giving you my analysis. Channel memberships are now live, and for $1.99 a month, you can get exclusive videos from me weekly as we rewatch the entire Star Wars series together. The Rise of Skywalker may not have been the movie that everybody wanted, but nevertheless, it is the ending to the Skywalker family saga. However, well, the first time I saw this movie, I remember thinking that the pacing in the first act was extremely fast. In the first like five minutes, we went from Kylo destroying people on Mustafar to him meeting Palpatine to Rey, and it was just a lot really quickly. And originally, that bit of Kylo Ren on Mustafar was supposed to be a lot longer of a scene. And the new concept art shows that in a fantastic manner. So this new concept art looks amazing. So we're going to take a look at these three pieces of concept art. Here is the first piece. So this shows the Eye of the Webbish Bog and Kylo Ren. And I can just imagine seeing this, you know... Because this concept art's pretty detailed and pretty great. So it would have been amazing to see that on camera. And it probably just would have looked fantastic. And the audiobook and the um, uh, novelization as well, they have the full version of this scene and they give the Eye of the Webbish Bog a voice and everything. And it is pretty intense scene. And it has a lot of Kylo's... Um, thoughts about what's going on and how come everything is happening and this would have been a fantastic scene to see included in this. We know that this was actually shot because there have been behind the scenes photos of General Pride and General Hux watching on Mustafar during the filming of this sequence. Uh, this next piece of concept art is another one before Kylo walks over to the Eye of the Webbish Bog. And it shows Kylo here with the Knights of Ren. General Pride and General Hux are not in this. They're probably watching from the ship or whatever they're doing. And you see the Knights of Ren by the fire. You see um, this is just another extremely great opportunity. The forest backdrop reminds me of the episode of The Mandalorian Season 2, The Jedi, at the beginning sequence when Ahsoka's going through the woods. And this just would have been another fantastic thing to see this on Mustafar, Kylo Ren, with Adam Driver's broody and dark kind of personality would have been extremely well worth the extra 15 minutes or whatever that the film would have had to have been added. It would have been just amazing. So this last piece here, it, these are all focused on Kylo. So here's another one of Kylo, and it took me a minute or two to actually figure out what this was until I zoomed in really good on it. But that thing coming from the beam of light there, that's Vader's helmet. That is Vader's burnt helmet. Um, so this would have been absolutely stunning just visually to see. Uh, in the novelization and audiobook, they do have Kylo talking to the helmet a little bit more. Uh, but I am, did not picture this vast hall and architectural craziness here to be there uh, but this just all of these shots would have looked absolutely magnificent on camera and I think if you're gonna cut anything out of the sequel trilogy let alone the rise of Skywalker I have no idea why you would have chose to cut the scenes with Adam Driver in it uh, he is probably in my opinion the best character of the sequel trilogy and he deserved more time than he got um, and I say that because of all this concept art we're seeing that revolves pretty much around his character. It would have been fantastic to see Kylo on Mustafar in a more 
fleshed out manner on screen rather than just in the novelization. Because the novelization is canon, so all of that stuff did happen, but most general audience fans are not going to know what we're talking about if we walk up to them and say, hey, did you see Kylo talk to the Eye of the Webbish Bog? They're going to be like, what? Um, unless they saw this concept art, read the you know, book, or saw this video, I guess. Um, but I just wanted to share these pieces of concept art with you guys and talk about how fantastic and another missed opportunity they could have been. I don't know who decided on what was going to be cut out from the film, but if it was JJ, I have no idea why you would decide to cut out anything with Adam Driver in it. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. May God bless you and the Force be with you always. If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it! And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.